Hello, it's Tom Donald from the London Contemporary School of Piano. I'm just enjoying these beautiful tones right now on this gorgeous Blutner piano, which was built in 1910. Some things are built to last, aren't they? Wow. And today I'm going to talk about a topic that is really exciting um, for any pianist, any musician, anyone who just wants to try things at the piano. I want to talk about a technique I have called chord stacking. There's so much theory behind chords and harmony in music that we can often get a bit lost in the theory. And I want to tell you some practical, or show you some practical ways you can create some stunning chords on the piano without having to overthink the theory. So we're going to use a scale that is just so fun to work with. And it's a scale you might not have learnt at school. It's the natural minor scale. Often when we learn minor scales, we're told to play them like this. Or like this. But the natural minor scale is a gentler sounding scale. It's used in older music, even dating back to Renaissance music. And it's also used in a lot of contemporary music. That doesn't seem right, doesn't it? Contemporary, Renaissance. It's amazing how some things just don't change, right? It's used a lot in film music, particularly the natural minor scale. So, here are the notes. That is the C natural minor scale. And to calculate a natural minor scale, to find it from any major scale, all you have to do is flatten the third, the sixth, and the seventh note. So here's C major. And here's C minor. C natural minor. And the beautiful thing about a natural minor scale is that, well, if I play all of the notes together at the same time in this scale, let's listen to what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Really quite exciting. Lots of tension and beauty in that sound. So I want you to see the scale as an orange and you're squeezing all that juice out of the orange to create the best possible music you can. Or let's say, descriptive film music. A lot of film music uses these tricks. So we're going to stack the notes together in the scale. Firstly, let's create a bass line. I can just choose any notes from the scale. I'm just going to choose these three notes. And then in the right hand, I'm going to stack notes using the scale to complement the left hand. Now, I don't have to start on the same note. I might start here. Now to really get some lovely, lush musical effects, one thing I suggest is actually to avoid just playing normal chord triads. It starts to sound a bit predictable. So actually, you use more dissonant intervals, like second intervals, two notes clash together. Because it's all following the same scale, it all actually fits together in the big picture. And so we want to actually create as much tension as we can within this sort of safe area of the scale. It's a nice little trick that film composers use all the time. So here I am just stacking up notes in this natural minor scale. I can even stack four or more notes, even five notes. or three. So, let's shift to major now. You don't just have to do this in minor scales, you can do this 
in the major scale as well. And again, if you play a major scale, you play all of the notes at the same time, it has a harmony to it. Let's choose another major scale though. Let's choose something like um, B flat major scale. It really doesn't matter which one you use. Again, this is a really great way to practice your scales. Stack them together. So let's create a bass line. Let's create these following bass notes. From the B flat major scale. And now I will stack notes in the right hand. Now, for a bit of clarity, let's do that in C major, so you can really see an experiment with different intervals in the right hand. You can use intervals like fourths between the notes. Different intervals create different effects. I think fourths have a somewhat unresolved sound to them, and seconds have a dissonance to them, thirds have a sweetness to them, and then in combination, a fifth and a second, a third and a third, a fourth and a fifth. You get very many different effects, like an artist on a canvas playing around with colours. So here's a really cool exercise. We're going to go up in a bass line as major, and then we're going to go down as natural minor, and I will adjust chord stacking in the right hand uh, as appropriate to the scale. So let's try it. See how I'm just leveraging the scale, squeezing that orange to create a whole wide range of compositional sounds. And these are the tricks that film composers use. Um, if you have a digital keyboard at home, if you're not sitting on a 1910 Blutner Grand Piano, don't worry. If you're sitting on a digital piano at home, you can, you can change the sound to the string sounds on your keyboard, strings or organs, different tones, to emulate what you hear in film music. And if you're sitting at a grand piano, well, really use the depth of your instrument to explore these wonderful chords and scales. Hope it goes well. I have put together a special improvisation PDF summary and chord cheat sheet of these tips and tricks for those of you who wish to improve your creative piano playing. To receive your download, you can visit contemporaryschoolofpiano.com and ask us for the Stingray Music Series Pack and we will send you the material with our compliments.